Yeah, good day, folks. Uh, today we we just sorted a, a bull. We brought a buddy with him out of the main mob up here. We left the others at the top. What we did is uh, we built this polywire lane coming down the hill. On this uh, particular farm, we don't have a corral. And so when we load, this is what we do. I'm going to show you here. <laughs> We're going to walk this bull, which we sold. And this young little calf, I don't know if that's a... Yeah, it's a little young bull. He's probably five months old and uh, we're going to walk him down this temporary poly wired single wire lane and we've got a uh, just a piece of cattle panel down here and uh, we've got the trailer backed up there too already oh boy it's slick out here and so whenever you sort one out uh, you always bring a buddy with him don't don't take one by himself i'd rather had a cow but <laughs> The little bull cast as long want to go, so he he jumped and came in with this big bull. The uh, cow's a lot better to take with them. They're more settled down. But once you get them up to this little alley here, we've got this old shed on one side and uh, a cattle panel on the other. And the key is is for those guys to stop right there. you got to let the animals find the trailer. And if you push them too hard... They're going to come back through that wire and they're going to go back to the herd. There he goes. See now, when you stop, when he stops, you stop. And if you get him pushing too fast, you, you're going to end up with him coming back at you. You won't get him on the trailer. Just give him, give him just a second. There, he's he's smelling, and it's nice to have cattle smell in your trailer. So you can tell we've held cattle in there, there's some poop in there, there's some, str there's some straw, fresh straw down, hay. And now he's, he's seen the trailer and we can move up real slow. He's walking forward, he's probably going to hop right on there. He may turn one more time. But there he goes. <laughs> come on, big boy. There you go. Let the little one come back. Let the little one come back if he wants. Go ahead and close the door. That little one came back too. He, he jumped on. So what we do, once we got him on the trailer, Alex, can you get in there with him? And just open that other sorting gate. There you go. And he's going to sort back the one we don't want. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up. And uh, out, or Casey, you run the door. I'm going to get out of the way. <laughs> I don't want to get run over. Get out of this alley. So he's in there right now. He's got... He's already got him. So just let the other one come back to the herd. There he goes. He gets to go back to Mama. <laughs> and the one we sold, he stays on... He stays on the trailer. But you see the... A lot of people overbuild on their uh, corrals. Folks, that's a 16-foot cattle panel on steel posts. There's two of them. There's one there, and there's one over there, and then we just took poly. Now, that is hot. We took poly and took these handles. So that's a plastic handle right there, and it's hooked in. Now, if you touch that, that's hot. There's, I don't know, five, 6,000 volts in that. Now we've got them sorted off. We'll go through and open the gate and let that calf back in with his herd mates. And we can take this down. There's our corral. Took a one, two, three, four, five steel posts and two cattle panels and a barn, the side of a barn, <laughs> which was there. But uh, that's it. You want to get your trailer backed up to where that door, when you open it, 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 it comes back against here, okay? So that when they jump in here, you can just slap that thing shut. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty content. I don't hear him bellering like he was. Hey, big boy. <laughs> You're going to a new home down in Arkansas. That's a good looking ball. He's going to make a good herd sire for that young fellow and his new family. So, yeah, he'll have some good looking south poles in a couple of years. Anyway, uh, that's kind of how we do it. Uh, this is a 
20 foot box trailer i wouldn't recommend buying that starting out i didn't have a trailer for around 15 years uh, we custom grazed for many years we didn't need a trailer and when we did need one we hired it out um, starting out it is an expense um, but you know when you get into a herd where you've got quite a few animals a trailer like this is pretty handy to have and it doesn't have to be aluminum it can be steel you can get these things pretty cheap you can save a steel aluminum are more expensive but they don't rust either so there's some benefits and advantage or you know disadvantages cost versus rust uh, lightweight versus heavy aluminum trailers are lighter than steel trailers but this is an eb it's a 20 footer goes pretty good with our our ram 2500 that's a that's a 1997 dodge got the original cummings diesel engine in it um, but yeah it's He's ready, he's loaded and ready to go, and I think we're ready to go bring him to his new owner here tomorrow. Everyone have a good weekend.